Whenever there's a controversial incident involving police, the public and the media ask, hey, where's the video? Police body cameras have become the norm around the country, capturing real-time video of what happened. But as we've been reporting, that just isn't the case in Portland. Portland is the only big city police department in the country that doesn't equip officers with body cams. Over the years, efforts to get them have been stymied by a lack of money in politics. Well, now things appear to be moving along. As OPP reported on Friday, a federal judge accepted a deal that would pave the way for Portland police to get body cams. The agreement between Portland and the U.S. Department of Justice would bring the city back into compliance with the 2014 settlement agreement over the police bureau's use of force. Here's the tricky part, though. As part of the agreement, the city has about seven months to adopt a body-worn camera policy. Trouble is, that policy is still being hammered out in negotiations between the city and the police union. The union wants the officers involved in use of force cases to be able to review footage before writing reports. The Department of Justice and community groups say, no way. Officers should have to write their reports first, arguing the average witness doesn't get a look at video before giving a statement. It's only fair. Now, Friday's decision does give the Justice Department final say. If the feds don't like what they see in Portland's body-worn camera policy, they can take the city back to court, which ultimately could delay the process even longer. So why don't Portland police wear body cameras? Well, it's a long story. How did we get here? In the fall of 2014, a federal judge urged the city of Portland to put cameras on its officers, even though the U.S. Justice Department did not require it back then. The mayor at the time, Charlie Hale, said, sure. The bureau even set aside money and held some community hearings to get ideas. By 2015, things seemed to be on cruise control. The Oregon legislature passed a bill that created a statewide standard for body camera usage, and Portland City Council put aside more than $830,000 to put even more cameras in police cars. And the city pledged another $1.6 million to fund the program through the next fiscal year. Then, another year and a different mayor later, things hit a snag. Mayor Ted Wheeler questioned if the project was feasible and asked the police bureau for a detailed plan, including how much the cameras would actually cost. The police chief at the time, Mike Marshman, summed it up by saying, that's in a nutshell why we don't have body cameras today. But fast forward to January of 2019, and there was another opportunity. Portland police formed a team to finally come up with that detailed plan the mayor had wanted to see. And in February 2019, the city held listening sessions. A year later, in early 2020, then-Chief Jamie Resch said she supported body cameras and hoped to see a pilot program in the future. But once again, the plan hit a snag because the COVID pandemic blew out the city's budget and the body camera pilot project was one of many things that ended up on the chopping block. Last year, City Council had more money on hand and passed funding for cameras again. They're now having vendors bid on a $2.6 million contract, which will cover both a pilot program and full implementation. However, things are still stalled because the city is still trying to hash out some details with the police union. The main issues, when and how the video will be released and if officers will be able to watch it before writing their reports. And that's how we got here.